Hello, good morning. Um, I'm here to explain more in depth about aspect ratio. Now hopefully you didn't get too confused by the last video because um, I started going to aspect ratio briefly but I think I might have just confused you a little bit because I started talking about in regards to a rectangular wing and a lot of people may get confused by that because you'll start to think that it talks about the area of the wing. So let's just go ahead and back it up a little bit and discuss aspect ratio in relation to a wing. Well first of all, believe it or not you're already familiar with aspect ratio. Um, you may have seen these numbers. Well if you've ever bought a TV or you shot for a monitor or any type of picture frame you've probably seen it. And one of the most popular numbers you've seen are you see 16 by 9 and then I believe the other one is 5 by 4. Okay, so what do these numbers mean? Well, basically, all this is, it's a comparison of the width of an object versus its height. And that gives you your aspect ratio. So, in relation to this, like let's say I was shopping for a big screen. And let's go ahead and start with, let me draw one right here. Now... I want to watch Avatar in big screen, so, so okay, so here we go. So that's your big screen right there. And then when you're shopping for it, it might advertise that's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And you're like, well, what's 16 by 9? Well, all it is is that it's a unit of measurement. So let's say I were to measure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you have 16 units down here, and then you have an equal distance of 9 units on top. Okay? So let's just say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So then let's just say that for every, and I'm going to go ahead and point here, but let's just say that for every, and let's say each dot, even though it doesn't look like it, let's just say each dot was an equal distance. For every 16 units you have down here you'll have 9 units on top so if you see a 16 by 9 you can pretty much surmise that something's going to have more length than it is going to have um, you know depth if you will or you know more length than it is going to have height okay now consequently let's say you had something like a 5 by 4 aspect ratio uh, which is still pretty five by four so then what you're gonna have right there is you're gonna have something that's more along the lines of one two three four five one two three four okay so you're gonna have more like a box right here so that's essentially what aspect ratio is right there it's just a measurement if you will of its length versus its height so now that we got started with that, like for example, that TV back there, that would be more of a 4 to 5. Meanwhile, this monitor I'm using would be a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And those are numbers that are your pr that people should be pretty familiar with. So, okay, so now, now that we know that, let's talk about aspect ratio as it's related to the wing. Okay, so let's just draw our little airplane right here. Alright, so there's our fuselage. All right, as our ampionage, going to our fuselage, going to our nose. And if you don't know what these terms are, you'll look at my other videos where I discuss the anatomy of an airplane, if you will. And then what we'll do is we'll draw a uh, aircraft wing. Okay, so your aircraft wings are going to be a little bit different. So we're going to have our straight, if you will, our straight rectangular, rectangular wing right there. Then we're going to have our tapered wing. Right there, we'll just go ahead and make that a little bit wider. Then we're going to have our delta wing. Mm, that should be good. Okay, so when we talk about aspect ratio, this, what exactly are we looking at? Well, what we're looking at is we're looking at the comparison of the width versus the height. So your width versus your height. So in this red wing right here, if you will, this is your traditional rectangular wing. So this would be the simplest aspect ratio to have. So 
what you would do is it would just simply be the formula to find out what your measurement is would be you take your area of your wing or the formula would be your aspect ratio equals your span of your wing square over your area okay so basically all you would do is you would take the span of the wing which in this case would be from your wing tip to your wing root I'm gonna go ahead and do that in a different color so you take your wing tip to your wing root squared the reason being because you measure on the upper side of the wing and the underside of the wing by your area well how do you figure out what your area is you actually can and it's a little bit more complicated I'll make another video on it but for the most part your area of the wing is going to be supplied to you by the manufacturer but you take your span squared over your area and then that's how you figure out what your aspect ratio is so as you can see it gets kind of complicated because unlike the traditional box example with that you use for like a rectangular TV like in this case this would be an easy aspect ratio right here because this might be like a, a 9 to 6 aspect ratio for example for so it's you know 9 units wide for 6 units deep this however might get a little trickier and then this delta wing right here um, this right here for example this green wing right here would represent an aspect ratio that's very favorable to lift so what we have right there is we have a unit that's more longer than we do depth wise while in that this delta wing example we would have a wing that's more deeper or that has more length than it does width so it gets does get kind of complicated um, but for the most part that's what you need to know about aspect ratios just simply the dimension between how wide a wing is versus what its depth is um, hopefully I didn't thoroughly confuse you too much on that video if uh, you have any questions please feel free to ask me but um, that's the best explanation for aspect ratio okay thank you